In injection molding, meeting your production, quality, and profit goals is a daily challenge. This brief presentation is designed to help you understand where profit is won and lost on the production floor. What makes some plants more profitable than others? On the production floor, the difference is simply the output of good parts per machine hour. There are two requirements for competitive success, quality and productivity, and they are closely related. Company profit is gained or lost at each molding machine on the production floor. The gains or losses are determined by four variables that determine production efficiency. They are the length of the startup time, the cycle time, the amount of unscheduled downtime, and the percentage of rejects. Each of these four variables is estimated either directly or indirectly for every molding job. Let's begin with the cost of machine startup time. If the startup time is longer than it should be, it becomes an additional expense, reducing profit. For every extra one hour of startup time, it takes about 10 hours of producing good parts to pay for that one hour lost. You can see the importance of not allowing startup time to exceed the allowed amount. Downtime is any interruption in production. It could be machine breakdowns, raw material issues, operator problems, control setting errors, or any other cause. A five minute downtime will take 30 to 40 minutes of good production to pay for that five minutes. An hour delay costs about six hours of good production to pay for the delay. Reject rates. Every molded part is bought by someone. If it's a good part, your customer buys it. If it's a reject, your company buys it. To cover the cost of one reject part, you have to mold between six and nine good parts to pay for it. Cycle time is where the greatest production gains or losses are incurred. Here is an example of the costs of cycle time. On this job, we are quoting to make a 10% profit on a job with an estimated 30 second cycle time. If this job is run at a 31 second cycle, it will require a just over 3% more machine hours to complete. At a cycle time of 32 seconds, 7% more machine hours are required. We'll use our ROI calculator to show typical causes of eroded profit on a job. In this example, we have quoted an estimated 1,000 production hours, or 42 days, with three shifts. Our machine hour rate is $60 an hour. We quoted $60,000 for the job, so we expect to make a 10% profit, or $6,000. We quoted based on a 30-second cycle, but our setup technician was very busy, so when he achieved a 31-second cycle, he moved on to his next problem. The job will now have to run an extra 3%, or 33.3 .3 hours. What is the cost to the company of the one extra second each cycle? $1,935. The reject rate on this job was 3%, rather than the 1% that was estimated. The cost of producing the extra 2% production is $1,200. The job was quoted with a machine uptime of 85%. The actual uptime was 83%. So the job will have to run an extra 24 hours to complete. The cost to the molding plant is $1,200. The total added production costs are $4,335. So, instead of the $6,000 profit we anticipated, our profit on this job was actually $1,665, 3% 
instead of 10%. This is a pretty typical example in the molding industry. Recent studies have shown that the average profit of custom molders is in the 3 to 5% range. Let's go back and look at cycle time again. The extra one second in cycle time cost the plant $1,935 and reduced the profit on the job to 8%. If the cycle had been two seconds longer, 32 seconds, the loss in profit would have been $3,750 and the profit 4%. A 33.5 second cycle would have wiped out all profit regardless of how efficient the rest of the production ran. On the other hand, if the cycle time could have been reduced to 29 seconds, it would have saved 33 machine hours. If those hours were sold, the additional income would have been $2,069 on that one machine. All four elements affecting profit Startup time, downtime, reject rate, and cycle time are important, and it takes skilled personnel to efficiently run molding jobs. From our over 36 years of experience in the molding industry, we know that the typical molder's profit is only about half of what they quote. In nearly every plant we visit, we observe production problems that reduce profit. Nearly all of these problems don't have to happen. The irony is that most managers recognize the problems but don't know what to do about them. The answer is increased technical molding knowledge at all levels on the production floor. It's giving personnel the knowledge they need to do their job best. In the past 36 years, we have helped thousands of companies develop a competent and trained workforce. Training can be individual or team training, basic or highly advanced. All levels of production personnel will benefit. Did you know that the three top U.S. molding companies selected for the Plastics News 2012 Processor of the Year Award are Paulson customers? This year's winner, Hoffer Industries, has been a Paulson customer for over 25 years. Please visit us at paulsontraining.com or call us 800-826-1901 to learn how you can succeed with Paulson.